Farmers and plant breeders are in a race against time. According to Lee Hickey, an Australian plant scientist, we face a grand challenge in terms of feeding the world. We're going to have about 10 billion people on the planet by 2050, he says. So we'll need 60 to 80 percent more food to feed everybody. Breeders develop new kinds of crops, more productive, disease resistant, but it's a slow process that can take a decade or more using traditional techniques. So, to quicken the pace, Dr. Hickey's team in Australia has been working on speed breeding, which allows them to harvest seeds and start the next generation of crops sooner. Their technique was inspired by NASA research on how to grow food on space stations. They trick crops into flowering early by shining blue and red LED lights 22 hours a day and keeping temperatures between 17 and 22 degrees Celsius. They can grow up to six generations of wheat in a year, whereas traditional methods would yield only one or two. Researchers first started growing plants under artificial light about 150 years ago. At that time, the light was produced by what are called carbon arc lamps. Since then, advances in LED technology have vastly improved the precision with which scientists can adjust light settings to suit individual crop species. Researchers have also adopted new genetic techniques that speed up the generation of desirable characteristics in plants. Historically, humans have relied on a combination of natural variation followed by artificial selection to achieve these gains. Now, breeders use gene editing tools to alter DNA with great speed and accuracy. In 2004, scientists working in Europe identified a variation on a single gene that made a type of barley resistant to a serious disease. Ten years later, researchers in China edited the same gene in wheat, one of the world's most important crops, making it resistant as well. Gene editing tools have been used to protect rice against disease, to give corn and soybeans resistance to certain chemicals, and to save oranges from a type of bacteria that has destroyed crops in Asia and the Americas. In South Korea, scientists are using these tools to rescue an endangered variety of bananas from a devastating soil disease. With cheaper, more powerful technology, opportunities are opening up to improve crops around the world. Dr. Hickey's team plans to use these discoveries to help farmers in India, Zimbabwe, and Mali over the next couple of years, since he wants the discoveries to benefit developing countries too. According to Hickey, we will need to combine speed breeding and gene editing with all the other tools we have if we are to meet the food security challenges of the future. One technology alone, he says, is not going to solve our problems. However, while basic speed breeding is generally accepted, many are reluctant to embrace gene editing technology. They worry about unexpected long term consequences. The benefits of this revolutionary technology, they feel, must be weighed against its potential dangers.